three, two, one, and go. Welcome crafters, Andy is Yodi Hill. Welcome back to another showcase from the UTB server. People have been busy building modern houses, and here's one of them. Where are you? Um, um, this is a barn, isn't it? Oh, it is a barn. Well, it's a <laughs> barn stroke, modern house. Welcome to being on a board back on the UTB server. Awesome. Yeah, I suppose it is a modern house, actually, isn't it? It's like, because it was a, like, converted barn, isn't it? That's right. Now, I contacted the builder. I asked him, what's the deal with this place? Because, look, it's got a big hole. <laughs> this is like someone's, like, trolled him. I, I know. know. But it's then like you see the bridge, and then mm. you realise, oh, yeah, he's actually done something really awesome. It's all part of the plan. Yeah. So this was a, a barn that was falling apart, and it's been rescued. Yes. Kind of like one and of it, those shows, like, is it Grand Designs or something? I, I want to say it is, but I can't remember, honestly. <laughs> That's what they do in that show all the time. They get, like, this, a couple, usually a couple, buy, like, a run-down, ruined building, and then... Uh, they convert oh, yes. it into a modern yeah, yeah, yeah. house. No, I have seen that. No, they choose like an awful house to start with and then just like turn it into something like amazing. Yeah, no, I have seen that. This is it. This is that. I know. This is it in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. There you go. We can call this Grand Designs House now. <laughs> That's true. We could call it a Grand Designs House. I wonder if that title would be good. Now, listen, this is by Jesse and Sons Architects. This is by a builder called Oh My God It's Jesse, and he's got a YouTube channel, link to his channel in the description below because he's got about 5,000 subscribers and he deserves a lot more. He's a pretty funny guy, and boy, oh boy, can he build. Yeah, awesome build. Isn't it just fantastic? So I'm trying to take in all the details. Hmm. I lo like, there's loads of little details like this one, like the bridge here. That's awesome. I love little stuff like this. The like, you don't necessarily have to add cool. it. And it's but, doable. Yeah, all it is is trapdoors, isn't it? I know, and they can be placed now, like this. Right enough, these ones are on the side. Oh, can you place them like that, or do you need world edit? I think you need world edit, or you need a lever under the ground, and since there's no ground under here, these ones must be a bit of world edit here. But uh, um, okay. you could do it with wooden, wooden trapdoors, couldn't you? Yeah, either way, it's still pretty cool. And it's got a well. Did you see the well? Oh, I didn't, actually. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I haven't seen a well like that in Minecraft. Like as a dropper. I know, it's cool. All fits in. Um, so this is, must be the old barn wall, and he's put some lights on it. You can kind of sort of tell there are modern lights sticking out the side. Yeah. <laughs> not seen much of that, actually, in Minecraft. People, like, slapping loads of outdoor lights on. No, not on, like, not using the player heads anyway. Normally it's, like, um, little lampposts or something. Occasionally or end rods or torches or something, but... Um, yeah, lots of yeah. external. So this must be the way in, I guess. I'm guessing so. Mm -hmm. Cool. Have we come in the back way? Or uh, back way, I don't matter. We're in now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in the house. Do you know what? I really like this fireplace. It looks so, so simple. Just very blocky. Yeah. But I love the, the colours hmm. on it are absolutely awesome, actually. So like, they blend uh, really well. I know, they do, actually. And your other site, and then stone... Um, so this is part of the old the old chimney. Ah, cool. So this is from the original barn then, and it goes all the way up. So that looks like it's been restored almost. And the barn wall continues here. So maybe that was part of the barn that's completely fallen down, and they've put a swimming pool. Yeah, it's a nice do. replacement for the barn, isn't it? That's actually pretty cool using anvils along the side of your swimming pool, like that one of those little. Oh, like the drainage things. The oh, drainage that's awesome. Thing. Yeah, no, I didn't notice that. That's awesome. A lot of people and then, use like, stairs. Under. Yeah. Okay, okay, back to the house, back to the house. Concentration <laughs> face on. Right. Uh... Cool little living room. Oh, he's got a little desk under the stairs as well. It's a nice I use know, of the space. I know, I was looking at that. That's a very good use of this space. Because normally I just end up, like, filling it in or putting something useless there. I know, I just take a plant in the corner and be all happy about it, but no, <laughs> that's much better. And even these little tables here, really smart design, actually. Yeah. Almost like an L shape. Okay, so we're liking that. Cool. And then you can... Oh, this the is where the bridge at Barnes burnt down. Do you know what? This bit of bridge will keep you... The bit above keeps you almost dry. Almost. <laughs> you have to kind of go along this bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't get wet. And then run in here, if it's raining, that is. Um... Maybe we're RPing this a wee bit too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like realistically, 
you just tug a weather and just be like, yeah, I'm fine. But we're playing at Architects, and I like playing at Architects, and this guy's doing it pretty well. That's true. Otherwise, we wouldn't have built a kitchen or a living room, to be honest. <laughs> dining room table. This is a cool dining room table, actually. I do like it when people do this, like, this chairs at the corners. Oh, yeah. Most people do it like in the middle, don't they? I know, but then you can't fit a very big table in. That's true. Um, I like that's cool. I've never seen someone do the oven like that, with like the open block fire. I'm not sure I'm a massive fan of that. To be honest. Yeah, we have very different styles, don't we? I know what I know. we like. So here's an outdoor table, um, more lighting, and then the white just sticking out. This quartz. Yeah, it works well. I like that. There's some like stairs the here. The Why is there stairs there? Hmm. Does that go upstairs? Is that how you get up? No, there's stairs upstairs inside in there. Let's go up these stairs and we'll find out. Maybe it'll link up later on. Okay. Ah, it's like it's like almost a conservatory. That's what this reminds me of. It is like a sunroom, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Some skylights, beams going across. It's very summery, isn't it? I think. That's cool. Mm. <laughs> you, you, you could have done. You could have done a beam like this. And that would have been what I would have done, but I quite like his thin beams. Yeah, I haven't seen people do beams like that. Blends in nicely the roof. It does, actually. But the whole design of this wall and the, the integration of this modern house into the, the barn ruin is really quite clever. Because he's got these little supports here, little walls. Yeah, it's like supporting the old bits with the new bits. That's correct. And yeah. there's no barn wall on this side, right? Yeah, like I think the best bit for me is this overhanging section because he's got like a supporting beam and then the wood above it. That's awesome because he's used it as like a balcony. That's really clever to me. That is clever actually. So these are like steel reinforcement beams really to hold up the whole, the whole house. Yeah, I don't know if don't this one should have, should have been here. Oh, what the beam? The beam just to hold up that platform. Anyway, splitting hairs. <laughs> I'm acting like Kevin McLeod now on, on Grand Designs. Let's go back upstairs. Boom, boom, cool. boom. Jesse, buddy, well done. Listen, guys, if you're watching this and you want to come on and see this house, then the coordinates are in the description. So it's play.userblocks.net for the server. Coordinates to this house are in the description, and you can follow those instructions and get right to this house and get the inspiration for yourself. And also, if you want a texture pack, a UTB texture pack, you can get, download it as well. Link in the description. Awesome. Oh, cool. this and is then open. I can get through there. Might get a little wet, but nonetheless, cool, cool. <laughs> Windows open. And this <laughs> is sealed, so that's window. Okay, oh, that's, so that's good, that's good. That's clever, I, I like actually. the fact he's done that. Separates it off a little bit. Very no, this cool. room's nice. It Very trapdoor nice. Lots he's of trapdoors. He's used them well, actually. Yeah. I especially like this desk at the back with, like, the plant pots on. Oh, yeah. It's a nice little blended in. <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea to put the plant pots on top of the uh, end rods. Just obvious. Oh, everyone, everyone that's just, awesome. It is like lights. I've never <laughs> thought of that. It's like staring us in the face how easy that is. I mean, yeah. seriously. Like, I'm not going to lie. I would have thought people had done that before. <laughs> that's Wait the first time I've seen it. I think that needs world edit, doesn't it? I can't do it because I need... Yeah, I can't place the end rod because for some reason... Oh, well, I'll watch you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you would need the world edit for that. But uh, yeah, people have been using player heads, but that's just so cool. Yeah, because you've got like, the depth of the plot of the pot inside. That's cool. So we've seen this upstairs living room. We've seen the downstairs living room, kitchen, dining room. So over here, I'm taking it must be... Just have some kind of bedroom. Some sort of bedroom. Another desk. I mean, there's more desks in this house than you can shake a <laughs> stick at. I think he's got more desks than lights. <laughs> And here's the stairs, so that all links. Okay. And this must be... Ah, oh, it is. The bedroom. You've got in the other room. <laughs> I, I, I went into the bathroom, yeah, sorry. Uh, okay. okay. I like the big window. The big window's a plus for me. That's awesome. Because you can have a nice little view out of everything. There's a view in two directions, and you can see the pond, and that whatever that flying saucer is up there. <laughs> flying saucer, <laughs> oh yeah. And that's a plot worker. But these these uh, shelves are pretty smart, actually. Yeah, it's trap doors again. He Can uses it, them well. He does use them well. Um, he could make a whole video about his trap doors, to be honest. 
Yeah. Uh, I bagged that video first. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Have you broke it? Oh, you stood on uh, it and it broke. Uh oh. Um. Oh. Run away. <laughs> run away. Potential griefer, can... but unknown. I can't place it back again. Uh oh. Okay, we're definitely running away. Okay. <laughs> bye, 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 Marilyn Monroe on on the picture. We'll sort that later. <laughs> uh, probably won't. <laughs> No, we've we'll got to say we will, because otherwise it looks bad. Okay, we'll definitely fix that later yeah, on. Yeah, th that's <coughs> right. That's right, Andy, we will. We'll definitely. Um, got a little car, Nano Limited. Cool. D4. What's that over here? Is it like, oh, it's logs. That's cool. I like that. Oh, we Just do like, like a couple of logs feature. being yeah. piled up together. Has he got a log burner? He's got that big... Oh, he's yeah. got that big oven, hasn't he? And the fireplace. Oh, uh, yeah, so that would that would do nicely, actually, those logs. Fantastic modern house, ten out of ten from me. Uh, barn conversion, definitely. I, th I think that's one of the nicest ones I've seen. Fantastic, and I'm really glad you built out an ETB server because it's just one of our best builds. All of a sudden, guys, hmm. if you're on the server and if you build it, more conversions like this because they look so so cool. Convert all churches, convert all barns, farm houses, whatever you want. Yeah, think definitely. Of, I want to see more the, conversions like I this. I know. You've got to think of the story behind the build. Like even, uh, what can you build? Medieval, like, castle type thing. Convert that. That'd be awesome. Someone can mm, do that. <laughs> maybe too far. Maybe too far. <laughs> but I, no, I think that'd be cool. But we uh, have okay. different opinions. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Guys, thank you again for watching. Listen, if you're watching my channel, be sure to check out the link down below to Bean on the Board's channel. He's got some awesome content going on right now. I know you've got coming a video coming up which we were working on. Uh, is it yes. 10, 10 things, things to, to build. build in the nether? In the yeah. nether. I'm looking forward to that so much. Yeah. Fun to record. Like, I got killed a couple of times because obviously some of the clips in survival, but nonetheless, <laughs> it's all done now. you got those pigmen down there. It's kind of yeah. dangerous. Yeah. Anyway, we look forward to that video and other great content. So do check out that link. I'm sending the entire Jedi army over to be on the Boris channel. And make sure you go and check him out. And vice versa. Because otherwise it's not really fair, is it? We send the whole army over one way. We've got to send it back. Send all the beans my way. Yeah. we're going. <laughs> I've never called them that, but send the beans. <laughs> That's awesome. That's cool. Right, guys. Uh, we'll not keep you any longer. Uh, do come on the server and check it out. And uh, leave a comment down below for, oh, my God, it's Jezzy. And don't forget to check out his channel as well. And uh, tell him what you think of his build. Because f for me, I love it. Yeah. Awesome. 10 out of 10. See you later. Ciao, ciao. May the blocks be with you. Bye.